Hello, it's Jan Molak here. Let me show you some cool new features that just arrived for WebDriver.io and Serenity.js. You can now generate your next Serenity.js project using the standard WebDriver.io project configuration wizard. Let me show you how to do it in just a couple of seconds. All you need to do is to run npm init wdio in your computer terminal and let the WebDriver IO wizard do its magic. To use Serenity.js, ask the wizard to generate an end-to-end -end automation project. You can make this project run on your machine using your local web browsers or using one of the popular test automation cloud services. Next, pick the test runner that you want to use. Serenity.js supports Mocha, Jasmine, and all the major versions of Cucumber.js. So you can pick whichever test runner works best for your project and your team. I'll pick Cucumber.js and write my automation code in TypeScript. To help you get started, the wizard can generate the initial project structure and some test scenarios for you. This includes the spec files for Mocha or Jasmine or the feature files for Cucumber.js. When using WebDriver.io with Serenity.js, the wizard will also generate the initial structure for your Serenity.js screenplay pattern library and produce code that demonstrates how to use Serenity.js to perform interactions with a REST API and a web interface of a simple to-do list app. Apart from configuring Serenity.js reporting services, the wizard can help you enable standard WebDriver I.O. reporters too. Great, so with our project in place, you can now run npm run Serenity to try out your brand new automation setup. The command executes the newly generated test scenarios and produces Serenity BDD test execution reports for your project. OK, let me give you a quick tour of the reports. As you can see, by default, Serenity.js captures screenshots of every interaction that occurs in your test scenarios. You can disable this behavior in your WebDriver I.O. configuration file for greater performance or keep the screenshots to make your reports more comprehensive. OK, so let me now show you around the code. Since I've decided to use Cucumber.js, the features directory now contains an example feature file. There's also a narrative file that contains any additional documentation that you want Serenity to add to your test reports. As you can see, you can easily navigate from your feature file to your step definitions, where you will notice that each step definition is already set up to take advantage of Serenity.js screenplay pattern APIs and the actor model. To explore how the different tasks are implemented, head to the Serenity directory, which contains a scaffolding for your next test automation library. I hope you enjoyed this little demo and that the new WebDriver.io wizard will make it even easier for you and your team to get started with test automation. So, what are you going to automate next? Let me know in the comments! Learn more about Serenity.js and join the community at serentyjs.org. Until next time!